ladies and gentlemen. Let's play Illusion of Gaia. Made for the Super Nintendo, it's kind of a hidden gem because not a lot of people know about this game anymore. And it is a very, very good game in my opinion. It has great music, it has a fairly good story, and the graphics are fairly good. It's the second in the series. The first game... Uh... Oh, jeez. I'm suddenly forgetting the first game. Well, Deceased Crab has a playthrough of the first game on his channel. And the th this is the second game in the Gaia series. And the third game, Terranigma, it was also part of this, loosely. Now, I can't guarantee that this is going to be a full playthrough. Because I don't know where all the red gems are. I also don't know what he's doing there. I know where some of them are. I think. Apparently there's supposed to be one right there. And I forgot how quickly this game introduces you to the save function. Hi! I did not show that first thing. It... She's not going to say it again. Sorry, everyone. But this game features some fairly good graphics for the Super Nintendo. And you can run... That... Thank you. Thank you for telling what I just said. What? Travel around... Oh... Now you want to make sure that you check anything and everything. Because you never know what's going to have a red gem in it. And I know, I should... Oh right, Will's house is right next to the... to the school. I need another red gem! You're not equipped. I f Ah right, it's circle. Circle gets you into your inventory screen. That's a trippy inventory screen. Act Razor, is that, is that the name of the game? Right. I'll let you guys read. Now, one of the only problems that I have with this game is that it does start off a little bit slow, as you can see. Like, if I try to leave... Hey, let me leave! Many demons are prowling about. Don't leave without your parents. Don't tell me what to do. But my hair isn't blowing in the sea breeze. It's still not blowing in the sea breeze. There we go. Now it's blowing in the sea breeze. He can't pull it up. Behave, you guys. Behave. Uh, oh, right. So parents are constantly arguing. Wow, it's been a long time since I've played this that I'm forgetting all of these things. Well, I do remember where you're supposed to... Did that guy move? Does he move again? There are more pots to search. Why? Can't, oh, maybe it's down here. Yes, there it is. Second red jewel. I'm so good at this game. And he moved again. Okay, so nothing else happens. Let's move on. So that it's no longer as boring. They gather there to talk and play games. Do to do. <laughs> More on that in a minute. He doesn't look desperate to me. Oh. 
<laughs> That's all. There, there isn't really much I can say about the beginning to this. The, the game doesn't really do much in describing, or like, getting the story moving along quickly. Except that it does tell you that your character has telekinesis. Ow. Oh. And then you have to pick a card. And the card is, from what I know, it's always the correct card. What do you think is the Ace of Diamonds? It's the Ace of Diamonds, of course. I think it was magic. What Seth says about six senses is too much for Lance to understand. And very little time seems to have passed, but apparently it's dark now, so let's just go ahead and head home. There is a pig. Can't... Come to me, pig! Come to me. No, okay. Uh, um, a pig named Hamlet, really? <laughs> I'm not going to take the time to read all of this. Because if I did that, then I probably wouldn't be able to leave the the first area for like three episodes. When I sing opera, I lose track of the time. I married your grandmother because of her voice. Um... Music for these games are so good. There are soldiers in the living room. She's a princess, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Wouldn't this be like abduction? And we're all just staying there, just letting it happen, just like, okay. I feel as though we've met before, as if we were good friends. That girl be crazy. Okay, now here's another thing I don't understand. There's no stove in here. So... I, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not actually intentionally skipping some of those messages. Anyway, yeah, there's... There's no oven or anything in there. So, ha snail pie. <laughs> this game has no sense of pacing. <laughs> I dreamed that I went on an adventure with a girl I don't even know. You've learned Lola's melody. Yes, thank you, game. Thank you, game. Can I move yet? Thank you. <laughs> Lil's grandfather is a creep. I'm already forgetting what to do. Okay, I can't leave. So there's the... Oh, right. I think... I think you have to go and talk to your friends. 
Never mind the fact that you probably should have been in school. Yep. Let's have some fun. Let's move this. No one's scared. Yep. Shoot, what do you do? I already forgot. <laughs> I've already spent way too long in the first town. This game is going to seem very boring. And like I said, it has like no sense of pacing. So it's definitely going to feel that way. Do I go to the school? Tell me what to do! Don't just be... No, I don't want to recite anything with you. Well, considering that we got through a majority of the boring exposition, let's record. Your facial, your facial expressions are just stellar, dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump. And jump. Hi. Okay. Ooh, we get an herb for one more red jewel. What is psycho power? I don't know if I want psycho power. Wait, there used to be a vase here. What the heck? That did that just randomly disappear? Okay, let's go talk to Grandma Lola again. What do I do? I'm totally drawing a blank here. I, for I completely forgot what I'm supposed to do. Wow, I haven't played this game in a long time. I can't move this, can I? Nope. Um, maybe if I... Okay, you see, that's something that I can understand. Cooking in a pot. That makes sense. Oh. I've never actually been in Eric's house yet. Uh, ma'am? <laughs> I honestly thought that she was on fire there. <laughs> I played this before, too. Not that you would guess from... My blundering, and I don't remember where to go. Let's just press A on all the things, I guess. All of the adults look the same. I'm not sure if I like that. <laughs> where do I go? <sighs> Is it down here? Maybe it's down here. No. Ugh. Watch, it's gonna be something stupid like, move the bookcase with your telekinetic powers. No, that definitely was not it. What do I do? Ah! <laughs> All right, well, you know what I am going to do? I'm going to cut real quick. I know I only have about a minute left. I'm going to cut and find it, and then I'll show you guys where it is. So I will be back. Wait, maybe I am supposed to talk to the guy. <laughs> oh, that wasn't even 30 seconds later, and I found it. You have to go and talk to the guy that you can leave and then go to Edward's castle. And apparently, Will moves very fast. <sighs> I feel like a dumb. Alright, well now that we've managed to finish with the boring introduction, thank you for watching the first video of Let's Play Illusion of Gaia with Destiny the Insane. And... I will see you guys next time where something more interesting is going to happen. I promise it's not going to be the same boring thing as this first episode. We'll get into the action soon. Just give it time. 
Once again, thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later!